It was a late night last night. Yeah, it was. I kind of, I, I didn't stay out too late because I knew, you Because you, know, you did it hard the night before, right? Yeah, I graduated. <laughs> so last, yeah, the night before, that was like the big one. <laughs> Abby Lance, broad green, generic. It's the worst thing to say all morning. <laughs> um, so a couple big days in a row. How are you feeling? Yes, a lot. It's like rapid fire. Like everything is like happening this year right now. <laughs> it's so insane. Um, so, so I want to talk a little bit about um, sort of a day on set with Nick and like mm -hmm. what was it like to sort of get into some of these scenes. Did you have heard maybe there was music playing, or did you guys kind of talk through things? Um, what was a, like a typical day on set? Well, you kind you show up, you know, in, in the mornings. Well, we filmed in chronological order, so each day you're thinking about, you know, what happened the day before, um, and, and it's so helpful to do that, especially with the, my character because she definitely has a big transformation. Mm -hmm. um, and so in the mornings you kind of show up and go to rehearsal, and Nick would ask me, well, what do you want to do? And I never had that freedom before of like, whoa, at first you're like oh, a little uncomfortable of this given power that you <laughs> that you feel like you have. Um, and and But it, it starts to get, um, it's such a creative um, bubble where you, it feels, it's very safe and you feel like you can try anything and, and you have this freedom because you film in sequence so you're not kind of tied down to anything so constantly you're changing we're just we're changing scenes and if something happened yesterday so the next scene oh we can't do this scene anymore because it doesn't work because we went down this other path so you're 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 just totally discovering things <laughs> and um and even i mean in the middle of the movie nick changed the ending so it's this you have this i, I feel like i, I trust him so much in this this team friendship that we have was really special. It's like a Nick Reffin choose your own adventure film. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I mean, it's like he it's his own universe. So so I'm 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 having fun asking people what um, because it's kind of a, uh, the the neon demon is a term that you can kind of digest however mm -hmm. you know your perspective allows. Mm -hmm. What's the neon demon to you, sort of in context of this of this story? That's what we were trying to figure out the whole time. We no one knew. We were kind of, what is the neon demon? Who is the neon demon? Because it could, I mean, it could be anything. I, I like for people to kind of come up with their own thing. For a while, I thought it was L.A., the mm -hmm. city. When I read the script, I was like, oh, that's what it was. And then it slowly started turning into, is it? you is it me is it jesse um which you know we kind of we went with as well but i mean this the neon demon is not necessarily a person it's more of this it's a spirit that kind of i mean this is what i think you know <laughs> that um kind of possesses you and takes over in this beauty obsessed world that we are um so it's 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 jealousy but it's also so seductive and glamorous and and kind of it's it's gorgeous, but it's also really kind of really nasty. <laughs> well, and that, and then I wanted to talk about the sort of like cultish horror element to this. Mm -hmm. um, did you realize going into it that it was that it was going to be this sort of twisted and and? Yeah, I, I did. I mean, I, I did know that it was. I mean, the script, even though the script is very different from the movie that we have. I mean, it's the same thing, but, you know, because lots of things were changed. And we actually kind of made her more dark. We made it a little more twisted because it was fun. <laughs> um, and, but you, those elements, they are in there. I mean, when, when you're making a movie about beauty, which is also a very taboo subject and kind of, it's a controversial thing. What is beauty? It's very different for everybody. So when you're making a movie about that topic, you know that it it's going to be, it's going to be a little twisted and um, and witchy, you know. That I like, I, and and those are movies that I like to see as well. I kind of I, I like horror films or darker films or kind of that witch-like element to them, um, a little spooky. So I, I I was excited to I didn't, but you know, you never know exactly how it's going to be. But I was excited how it turned out. So yeah, cool. Thank yeah. you. Al. Thank you.